We are now getting some breaking news, so we had to cut out those reactions. This one is coming in from the state of West Bengal as there is high drama that is being reported now. Protests against Governor Mr. C. V. Ananda Bose has erupted in the state of West Bengal ahead of the Panchayat polls. You can see the visuals on your screen, the kind of protest uh, visuals that you are seeing. We will just get uh, my colleague Kumolika to join us in just a bit to actually offer us most per more perspective as to exactly where is uh, the protest really happening. Is it right outside the governor's house? Uh, okay, we've been told it's uh, in Siliguri in West Bengal where these protests are being reported out of. Kamalika is joining us now on the phone line. Kamalika, just take us through more. Protests in Siliguri against uh, CV Ananda Bose right ahead of Panchayat polls. What is happening? See, this is um, uh, Governor Bengal. Governor was supposed to have a meeting with the VC of uh, North Bengal University. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to also understand that Governor is the Chancellor of uh, the University. Yes. So, uh, there is a demand by Trinamool Chancellor Parishat that please make the Chief Minister of Bengal uh, the Chancellor of the University. We know that uh, one bill has also been passed in assembly for this uh, last uh, year when Jagdeep Sankar was the governor. So uh, basically we see that there is a very wide difference between the governor of West Bengal and the government on various issues which started off uh, from the university when the governor wanted a report from the VC and then the uh, government opposed it and then Monica, I, I'm sorry I'm interrupting you let's first take a look at the reactions I'll come back to you legal meeting ছাত্র বন্ধুদেরকে উপস্থিতিকে নিয়ে চলে আসতে বলবো আমরা সকলে মিলে সকলে মিলে আমরা এখানে আমরা আমাদের অবস্থান করব এবং আমাদের টিচিং নন টিচিং অফিসার টিচার ছাত্র স্কলার সমস্ত প্রতিনিধিরা এখানে উপস্থিত হয়েছে একে একে আমরা আজকে কেন বিক্ষোভ করছি কেন আমরা আজকে আচার্যর বিরুদ্ধে নামতে বাধ্য হলাম এবং কেন আমাদের বাংলার শিক্ষা ব্যবস্থার স্বার্থে আমরা আজকে কর্মসূচি নিতে বাধ্য হয়েছি তারই প্রতিবাদ আমরা একে একে শুরু করতে চলেছি আমরা লক্ষ্য করছি এই আপনো প্রকাশ করে দেখুন আজকে ইউনিভার্সিটির বুকে নর্থ বেঙ্গল ইউনিভার্সিটির বুকে 14 জন বাতার অধিক বাতার কম ঠিক আমাদের কাছে সংখ্যাটা জানা নেই কিন্তু ভাইস চ্যান্সেলর দিয়ে অবৈধভাবে নিয়োগ করে সেই অবৈধ বিয়োগ আজকে ইউনিভার্সিটি বুকে করা হচ্ছে শিক্ষা ক্ষেত্রে গৈরিকীকরণ করা হচ্ছে মুখ্যমন্ত্রীকে আচার্য করার দাবি নিয়ে আমরা এখানে রয়েছি রাজ্য সরকারকে সম্পূর্ণ অন্ধকারে রেখে কেন্দ্রীয় শিক্ষানীতিকে রাজ্যের উপর চাপানো হচ্ছে এর প্রতিবাদে এবং দীর্ঘদিন ধরে ইউনিভার্সিটিতে কোনো পার্মানেন্ট ভিসি নেই ইউনিভার্সিটি কনভোকেশন আটকে রয়েছে বিভিন্ন ছাত্রছাত্রী যারা পাস করে চলে গেছে এখানে তাদের এখনো পর্যন্ত কনভোকেশনের জন্য তাদের অনেক কিছু বাকি রয়েছে যেগুলো তারা দাবি আদায় করতে পারছে না তার প্রতি নজর না রেখে এই অবৈধ বৈঠককে আজকে ইউনিভার্সিটির বুকে Let me bring my colleague uh, Kamalika back on the broadcast Kamalika we just heard reactions of course uh, this is the Trinamool uh, Chhatra Parishad members i believe who are protesting against the meeting of vice chancellors with the governor CV Ananda Bose in Siliguri just take us through the background of why these protests really are happening you know that their demand is this TNCP uh, uh, the people who are there the students who are there their demand is there is other problems in the universities which the chancellor should look into without doing that he is doing meeting which according to them is not right and they are demanding that governor is not doing the right thing it is the chief minister who should be actually the chancellor of the university the bill has already been passed in assembly so why uh, governor is uh, doing such meeting so they have basically uh, protesting against the act of governor the governor mm -hmm. coming and having a meeting with the vice chancellor is not accepted by the Trinamool Chhatra Parishad being there. And that's why they are protesting. Even, you know, for a couple of days, Governor is in North Bengal, so he is meeting the VC there. So, uh, but on the other hand, we see that this is basically the fallout. If we take it politically, this is basically the fallout of the difference that the Governor is happening with the TMC government.
Mm-hmm. Now the TMC ministers, the TMC leaders, everybody is now actually criticizing the act of governor. Mm-hmm. What the governor has done, the governor first has done that he has asked for certain reports from the uh, universities, which according to the state government, the mm-hmm. state government feels that the state government should be taken into consideration, should be discussed, and the governor as chancellor should take certain steps as far as the university is concerned. Mm-hmm. Second conflict we saw between the governor and the government is on the panchayat election. Governor has come up with this peace room, a totally different concept, where the Trinamool government feels that the governor is trying to run a parallel government. So that is not at all accepted by the Trinamool government, the ruling party, and this Trinamool chapter Parishad protest, or whatever the black flag is showing, Mm -hmm. that's absolutely a fallout of what's happening politically. So this is absolutely the Trinamool chapter Parishad. They are doing a protest there. And uh, essentially, apparently, it seems that it is something to do with the university. Obviously, it is something to do with the university. But Mm -hmm. the broader picture is this is the difference where now governor will face this criticism, this protest by the Trinamool, Shastra Parishad, the youth wing, Mm -hmm. and also the ministers. Monica, you mentioned that uh, there were certain reports that the governor, C.V. Ananda Bose, asked of certain universities in West Bengal. Of course, the war is between the TMC and the governor. It is only growing ahead of the panchayat polls. But I'd like to understand what are these kind of reports and what is the protocol? If the governor is the chancellor of universities, does he actually have to keep the state government in the loop for any sort of meeting with the, the vice chancellors of the various universities? That's what the claim of, uh, obviously, the Trinamool government is. The education minister has said that the governor has to talk with the state government. Without that, he can't go ahead and do certain things. That's what the claim of the uh, the education minister has been always. So here is actually a gray area. That's what, uh, you know, what is actually the area of work of the governor, how much the governor can go, that is, some, that is a gray area. On the other hand, when we talk to uh, the Raj Bhavan people from the Raj Bhavan and the people from the governor camp, they say that the governor is a constitutional head. Mm. They have every year, and, and he is the chancellor of the university. Mm. So he has every right to seek a report. That's what their uh, side is. But obviously there is a gray area mm. where both the sides, like the government is saying that the governor does not have this right. On the other hand, the, uh, the government is saying that... Uh, they don't, he does not have the right. Okay. But the broader picture is obviously the politics that is there between the government and the governor. All right, Kamalika, thank you so much for all of your inputs there. So, protest-